Okay guys, it is the next morning and it is actually a nice bright sunshiny day and we are in the process of filtering off our sterling silver solution that is now pure silver so when we get that done we will get it set up and we will do us a silver drop look at that beautiful blue color alrighty guys so we will get back at you when we are ready to do the drop so it'll probably take about another hour or so to filter this off and we'll be ready to go see you in a bit okay guys I was just touching base with you for a second we are almost done we got about 200 milliliters left to filter off uh, we're getting a really beautiful solution it's nice and clean I'm actually using a slow flow filter paper because I want to get all I like getting everything out of it so it just makes everything easier in the end so I'm gonna go ahead and let this finish out and we will get back at you when we're getting set up to do the drop so we'll see you in a few okay guys we are going to get ready to do our drop I'm actually going to go ahead and put this now I've cleaned this beaker we're going to put our funnel over here and let it continue to dry out and what we're going to do is we're going to actually pour We've got about 800 mils. We're going to actually pour this back into our beaker because we're going to use this beaker to do our drop. And then we need about 600 mils of just plain distilled water. So let me take and rinse this a little bit and believe it or not you see that little bit on my fingers if I was to have been touching that I'm gonna wipe it off set it there for a minute but if I'd have been touching that that would have uh, stained my fingers so I actually need about 550 mils of distilled water We're going to actually need to add this to this to double our volume of water. I'm going to first make sure that most of it, not all of our nitric is spent. So we're going to test it with a little bit of urea. Almost there I'm not seeing a whole bunch of tiny bubbles anymore we're gonna put a little bit more just to be safe and I actually think that that is gonna do it yeah because we still have to add our water so we're actually in good shape alrighty so we're gonna go ahead we got a little bit, but I do actually like a tiny, tiny bit of nitric active still. 
just a very slight amount. You get a, you know, a little bit of dissolving and re-dissolving when you do that, but it's okay. And this is our distilled water. So we are going to go ahead and add it. Up to 1400. this and I am going to transfer over to our other camera make sure we got this all rinsed down because we're going to time lapse this drop hit that a little bit more Are good okay so let me move this over and this is our backup coil and our main coil so we'll hook that in like this and we will hang that up in there and we'll be good to go so let me get back to you as soon as I get the other camera set up and we'll be good to go for this drop
Okay guys, uh, as you can see we have our jar of silver up here on the shelf. What we're going to do now is just siphon off that uh, copper nitrate. And at this point you still want to use gloves, even though the copper nitrate's not going to stain your hands like the silver would. You absolutely do not want the copper nitrate on you. It is very, very, very bad for you. So through this whole process, anytime that you may be coming in contact with the copper or the silver nitrate, you do want to have gloves on. So what we've got here is we've got a little siphon hose and basically I'm just going to siphon this off into my waste container to save for processing later to get the copper out of it. So this is not real exciting. I may speed this up just depending on how long it takes. But we're just going to siphon this off right now. Okay, so we got that down, and what we're going to do after this is we are basically just going to start, I've got some water over there boiling, or getting heating up to boil, and we are just going to start rinsing this down with boiling hot water, and that should help remove any little bit of lead if there is any in it, and then we are actually going to put it in some a little bit of hydrochloric acid and heat it up a little bit to remove anything else and we should have almost 0.999 if not close to that silver sometimes I guess I've you know I've been doing some reading and and this will actually some of it will actually come out finer than that but we just have to wait and see, so we'll get back at you in a second. Okay guys, I'm just going to attempt to pour off a little more of this copper nitrate. Which, that's what I thought was going to happen, which I want actually to happen. And you are going to lose a tiny little bit of silver in here. But what I usually do is let this sit for a day or two and let that silver go to the bottom and then I siphon this off and put it in my little silver catch jar. But what we want to do is get, a, get rid of as much of that copper nitrate. You guys have never seen me do a rinse so I figured this time I would go ahead and do one and show you how it's done. But we want as much of that copper nitrate out of there as we can possibly get. So I'm actually now going to shake this a little. And you'll see as I do that, it'll push that fluid out. Now we are pouring off a tiny little bit of silver. But like I said, I'm going to keep that and let it sit. And recover that silver later. It's not we're not pouring off enough that it's going to affect our final weight. I mean, it's just little tiny, tiny particles, which maybe you can see them coming out. I don't know. But you can see each time we shake it, we get a little more fluid because you're actually compressing it and squeezing it out of that silver. Now what I'm also going to do is when I do my start my rinsing with my boiling hot water, I am also going to pour that into catch jars too as well or into a catch jar to save it. So let me get another jar ready for that, and we'll get back at you when we start adding the boiling water. 
Well, okay guys, we're back. You know what they say about a watch pot never boils? Well, it's absolutely the truth. Our water is finally boiling. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start this rinse process. Like I said, I'm only doing this because I don't think I've ever done it and actually went through this process with you guys because it is boring. Um, I have found that it's better to do several small rinses than it is to do lots of big ones. And you really want your water boiling because that's going to cause your silver to clump up. And it's going to release any lead if there was any in there which there shouldn't have been, but you can see just adding that little bit of boiling water we still have quite a bit of copper in there. So I'm going to just let that settle now for a second and then I'm going to pour this one into my pour off jar here and get that jar get as much of this in there as I can and shake this down so that we can pour off as much as we can and then I'm also going to take my spray bottle because we do have a little bit of silver floating so I'm actually going to take my spray bottle and mist it to sink that silver down off the top break that tension but now we will, like I said, we're going to hang on to this anyway, regardless. And we're going to go ahead and add some more. And that one's just about full, so we'll just set that over there. And then when that settles out good, we will siphon that off and get that tiny there's only going to be a tiny bit of silver in there but we're just going to keep doing this putting that little bit of water in stirring this up and we're going to do that till we get I usually do it till I get a clear run twice that means till I get no more blue at least two times so this is how it's done. It's probably going to take anywhere from six to ten rinses to clean it completely. So I'm going to go ahead and pause until we get this good and clear. So we'll be back at you in a bit. Okay guys, um, we actually made it down to our second clear rinse and I'm actually hitting it one more time just to be safe. going to do now is transfer this well actually we still have to do a little hydrochloric acid wash but what I'm going to do <clears throat> is just go ahead and do that because basically it's the same thing I'm just going to put some hydrochloric acid in here a little bit with some distilled water, heat it up, and then I'm going to go through the rinsing process again. This is enough for you guys to see how it was done, because I know I've never shown it before, but it is a long, boring process. So as you can see, though, our water, rinse water is nice and clear, so I'm going to do it with the hydrochloric acid. In fact, I can probably just add it right to this. Let's just go ahead. Might as well go ahead and show you, right? There's no point in walking halfway through it we've come this far might as well show you the process so what we're going to do now is just add some hydrochloric acid to this I'm going to stir that up and I'm going to throw it over here on the burner for a little bit and I'm actually going to go ahead and add just a touch more and get the big bottle. And we will let that heat up on there for a moment.
let any other impurities in there out and then what we're going to do is just basically rinse this again so I'm going to transfer this over to the burner and let it sit on the burner for a little while and then we will be done and we'll be ready to dry this out so we'll be back at you in a bit okay guys we let this boil in hydrochloric acid for a little bit we didn't get any color change in the acid so that means it's nice and clean I'm doing the last rinse and then we're going to take it inside and put it on our little coffee warmer and let it dry and then we will weigh it up and we'll see what our yield was ideally it was supposed to be I think we said 10 point like 10 and 3 quarters I believe it was 10 and a half or 10 and 3 quarters so now this will tell the tale we will know exactly how much of this was sterling silver and we'll know if any of it was mismarked because we should be within about five percent which I don't think we even lost that so maybe a percent or two Alrighty, so there it is. Ooh, that's hot. Nice, pretty white silver. It came out really clean, really nice drop, wonderful drop. So we're going to go ahead and cover all this stuff up. And we're going to head inside. So we will get back at you when we are drying and weighing this, or when it's dried and time to weigh it. See you in a bit. Okay guys, we have reached the final weigh-in. And we actually got a really, really, really beautiful drop. I wish the camera would do that justice, but I mean that is... near perfect I mean you don't get much better than that dropping with copper so what we're gonna see what we're gonna see what we ended up with make sure that these are ready to go grams so we want to be in trolley ounces turn it off and turn it back on Okay, so we are zeroed out in troy ounces. I think we figured we were supposed to be somewhere around oh, right at 10 and 3 quarter troy ounces. So let's see what we ended up with. And this will tell us how accurate that stuff was marked. Actually, I'm pretty pretty satisfied because I know we got a good clean drop we didn't lose I mean more than a percent or two throughout our process the little bit that we poured off won't even probably weigh on a scale you know that was in the fluids and what I am showing I am showing 10.41 six troy ounces so let me see I think I wrote it down over here I think it was 10.76 that we wanted to end up at so 10.76 
10.76 would have been perfect. We got 10.41. Five, three, so we lost about a third of a troy ounce, which tells me, you know, stuff is not normal. Even though it says 925, it's a little bit less. So that is actually really good. I'm very happy with that. So 10.41, 10 10.41 times 0.25 is 2.6 ounces goes to me so let's put this on here let's zero this out throw it out again because I was leaning on the desk and we are going to put 2.6 ounces in here Point two, two point four, two point five, two point six. So that will go back to my customer. This will go to me, and we have finished this video at long last. I have got a computer up and running with everything. Um, I'm still waiting on the... I did find one that needs a screen, a G62. So I have three screens because I've had three of them burn up. But uh, I think I'm going to be transferring over from HP to Lenovo or Dell for my computer because there's no way I should have burned up. And they get awful hot. I mean, when they're working this, I actually was using the Lenovo last night, and it was working great. I mean, it never even got warm while I was editing other parts of this video. So, I think that's what I'm going to do. Anyhow, guys, I'm sorry for the little delay, but, you know, when a computer takes a poop, there ain't much you can do about it. So, anyway, there's my customer's silver. There's my silver. And we will get back at you guys in the next video. So have a good one.